Okay, hold up. If you want your mind to get blown by Jesus, turn with me to Genesis chapter 5. Look at this. It's just a, a genealogy. It just says basically like Adam lived so many years and then he he had a son Seth and then had a son Enosh and then he had a son Kenan and then he had a son named Mahalalel. Mahalalel, and then he had a son named Jared, and then Enoch, and then Methuselah, and then Lamech, and then Noah, and then really it seems like, okay, what am I ever going to get out of this chapter? Maybe it's just for historical reference or something, but this is crazy. Okay, those, uh, in Hebrew, every single name had a meaning, okay? So check this out. When you translate all these names here, this is what you get, okay? Okay. Adam means man, okay? Seth means is appointed, okay? Enosh means mortal, Kenan, sorrow, uh, Mahalalel, the blessed God, Jared shall come down, Enoch teaching, Methuselah, I think it was, his death shall bring, Lamech, the despairing, Noah, rest in comfort. So when you actually put all those names in that genealogy down in order like this, this is what it actually reads. It says that man is appointed sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down teaching and his death shall bring the despairing rest and comfort what the what this is the gospel in a genealogy this is why hebrew is awesome jesus is everywhere it always pointed to jesus all along this is crazy guys you gotta you got you gotta tell somebody this you gotta show someone that i gotta i, I gotta i gotta call somebody